Yeah. All right, Owen, go ahead and call on somebody for me who's going to read the okay. paragraph. Josh. Monkey put his hand into a jar of cookies. He grasped, uh, he's grasped as many as he could possibly hold, but when he tried to pull out his hand, the neck of the cookie jar prevented him from doing so. Unwilling to lose cookies, and yet unable to withdraw his hand, he burst into tears and was set. What is the theme of the passage? All right, Raina, will you go ahead and uh, read through our response items? A. Being greedy can stop you from getting what you want. B. Appreciate what you have. C. There is always a price even when things seem free. D. Every problem has a solution. Thank you, Joshua and Raina. All right, so what is the theme of this? Um, so I'll give everybody about 15 seconds if you need, or 30 seconds. If you need to go back to the passage, you're welcome to do so. And then we'll share and we'll see where we are. All right, let's see what you got. A, B, C, or D. So we got a little bit of difference on this one. Uh, Raina, you are my last speaker. Go ahead and call somebody who's gonna explain why they chose what they chose. Um, Allison? I chose A because um, when he uh, put his hand, in, the monkey put his hand into the jar of cookies, he, it says that he grasped as many as he could possibly Cool. So that stopped him. If he just got one of the cookies, he would be able to pull his hand out. But if he got, if when he got so many cookies, he couldn't take his hand out. So that's being greedy, and that stops you from being from getting what you want. Okay. Um. Presley? I chose C because in the text, it doesn't say that he's being greedy. It doesn't say that he's not sharing with other monkeys. So I think it was C because he wasn't trying to be greedy through. I agree that it's C because the, all the cookies were free. So when he reached in, then his hand got stuck. But even though it was free, he had to pay a price of not being able to get his hand out, even though the cookies were all free. Raina? Um, I think it would be A, like Allison said, because um, when he tried to get um, a, the cookies, he got more than one. And then it when he, um, the jar was like, the hole was too tiny for him to get his hand out with all the cookies in them. And then that was being greedy, like to get so much cookies. Um, Haley? I agree with Raina. Um, and I also want to add that when he reached in, he tried to grab like so many that he couldn't pull his hand out and like he was being greedy and then he was unable to get what he wanted. Um, Joshua? The monkey actually had the choice of just taking one, but he decided I'm just going to take all of it. Um, because he had the choice of taking one of them. Nobody was telling him what to do and stuff like that. But because he had a greedy heart, he took as many as he could hold. Um, but then that um, he and then he got his hand stuck um, in the jar, which isn't very good because nobody wants to be walking around throwing balls with a jar on your hand. <laughs> um, so the monkey actually had a choice, but because he was greedy, he had to um, admit that he was wrong. And there actually, it, there are ways to fix it, but 
You may have to cut your hand out of the jar. All right, is there anybody who wanted to participate who hasn't had a chance? All right, you've heard these arguments. Uh, go ahead, I'll share the passage one more time. I want you, if you are persuaded by you know, Presley or Drew, or if you're persuaded by Joshua, Rayner, or Allison, um, go ahead and make your final choice. It looked like it really came down to A or C, either A, being greedy can stop you from getting what you want, or C, there's always a price, even when things seem free. All right, final answers, let's see what you got. All right, everybody, only one of you wasn't persuaded, but it looks like most of you ultimately changed your mind and went back to A, and I think that is the correct response.